This experiment is called investigating the solubility of a solid in water. The solid in question is potassium nitrate and the temperature that we're aiming for is around 40 degrees centigrade. We start by making a water bath at slightly more than 40 degrees C. So here we take a kettle that has been filled with distilled water and we've heated the water and it's quite hot. The temperature on the thermometer rapidly rising there. And now we add to that some distilled water at room temperature. The temperature now falling. We're already at less than 60, coming down. Fifty-four, and there we're around fifty-one degrees centigrade. Well, the next step is to take some of the distilled water, and we'll be dissolving our potassium nitrate into that water. We found it easier to dissolve in a more beaker and we'll be filling to approximately uh, 10 centimeter cubed in the bottom here. So in goes the water. The water bath stays on the side and into that we need to dissolve quite quickly our potassium nitrate. Now this dissolves endothermically which means that of course the water is rapidly cooled as we put the solid into it. We'll take quite a bit of solid, even with rapid stirring. And of course, we don't know the temperature yet of the water, but we know that it started at around 50. It will be cooling due to the effect of the glassware the stirring rod and the potassium nitrate that's dissolving. So just one more measure there and we've got a fairly concentrated if not saturated solution of potassium nitrate. Well now we need to take that solution and pour it into our test tube here so that it's about two-thirds full. And that tube needs to quickly go into the water bath and we need it to equilibrate quite quickly. Now it's thin walled so we shouldn't have much of a problem with that. It's lowering it a little there. The water bath is still decreasing at 48 and a half degrees centigrade. The Potassium nitrate may well not be saturated now. We'll just add a little in the top here just to make sure we've got some solid in the bottom. And check with our thermometer what the temperature is there. So you might see the two thermometers, the thermometer in the water bath at 48, the thermometer in our test tube somewhat below that at the moment at 37 and rising. So let's leave that to equilibrate for a minute or two. Now there is solid still at the bottom of the test tube, but I want to be sure, so I just remove the thermometer temporarily, add another lump, and back with the thermometer.
Well, the temperature of the water bath is 47 and the temperature of our solution in the test tube is 42. There's some error here, we'd appreciate more water in the water bath. Um, we can perhaps do that with a little of the distilled here. We'll of course cool the water bath there. But we may bring them into thermal equilibrium. So now the level of the water bath is approximately at the same level of the saturated solution in the test tube. The water bath externally, the red thermometer here reading 42.5 V2 and the solution in the test tube reading 42, 42.5. Well that's not the critical phase in the experiment, the critical step is the next step. Uh, in this experiment we're going to be using a watch glass. Uh, to reduce the amount that we have to uh, evaporate in the next step. So, first of all, we need to weigh the watch glass on the balance here, and we find that the mass is 25.52 grams. 25.52. Now, the next step is absolutely critical. You've got to be rather quick at doing this, and it's as well to practice beforehand. So, check the temperature. The temperature is 42, remove the thermometer, and what we're aiming to do is to transfer quickly a small amount of the liquid at 42 degrees C onto the watch glass. Minimum amount. There we go. That's quite a splodge. And we'll re-weigh. It's now weighing 28.88 grams. 28.88. We've now finished with the water bath here, and we can remove it. And what we need is a boiling water bath, which we'll make in a small beaker here. We no longer need the clamp and stand. But we do need some more boiling water. So in that goes, two thirds full. Remember to add a few anti-bumping granules into the water, in they go. This one more should be enough. And the next stage is to get our solution on the watch glass evaporating to dryness. And we're going to do that by placing it over the water bath, which hopefully will bring rapidly to the boil. So on goes the solution. We have got rather a lot there, perhaps poured a little bit too much. Can't be helped at this stage. And it's worth knowing that potassium nitrate does decompose thermally at around 400 degrees centigrade, which is why we're heating gently with the water bath here. So the object of the exercise is to evaporate the solution on the watch glass to dryness, remove all the water and then re-weigh on the balance.
and this will obviously take some time so what we'll do is we'll wait until the system appears to be at equilibrium it's not at the moment it's still heating up and then we'll pause the movie whilst we evaporate the water from the solution Water in the beaker beginning to boil as you can see with the anti-bumping granules doing their job we might seek to reduce the temperature a little now I'm just going to done with a few more anti-bumping granules in there So you may be able to detect here some white solid forming around the edge of the little pool of potassium nitrate, saturated potassium nitrate solution that we had, and that is of course solid potassium nitrate already crystallizing from the mixture. Let's give that a nudge so it doesn't uh, spread any further this way. There we are. Okay, we'll start the stop clock, pause the video and see how long this takes to evaporate through to dryness.